to show you how to set the polarization for the new WTM4800 multiband antenna. It's important to set the polarization uh, for both the microwave band and the E-band radio before you put the radio onto the dish. So you need to look at your uh, documentation that's going to show you what your license grant has been set, whether it's vertical or horizontal, and you set that separately for each band, the microwave band and the E-band antenna. We're going to start with the E-band antenna. There's going to be a number of small screws we're going to need to remove in order to set the polarization. First off, we've got two screws that hold the cover plate for the polarizer. I'll remove those. This is our polarizer plate, so we'll carefully remove that. There will be two pins that it rides on. That's our polarizer plate, we'll set that aside. Underneath there, there's four more screws which we need to remove. Once you've got these four screws loose, there's four more outer screws that also need to be removed. Once those outer screws have been removed, this entire assembly will come out of the antenna. We're going to dump out those four screws and set those aside. Now if we look closely, stamped onto this is our horizontal and vertical indicators. There's also a line stamped into the antenna and we need to match these up. When the H is lined up with the line, this is horizontal polarization. If we rotate this, and now the V is lined up, this would be vertical polarization. For the E-band radio, you get your best performance with vertical polarization. Also in E-band, uh, there's no regulation you can run either direction. It's just when you go to register your link, you need to tell the FCC which way you've installed it. So our normal suggestion is to set the E-band radio for vertical polarization. That gives you the best performance uh, when it's raining. So I'm going to set the V to be vertical and line it up with that line and put our plate back on. And we'll put our screws back in. And these screws are different sizes. The outer screws are the larger ones, so make sure you get the right screws in the right hole. On each one of these screws, there's a lock washer and a flat washer. Four outer screws, now we'll do the four inner screws. Once we have our four inner screws put in, now we have to put the polarizer disc back on. Now the polarizer disc also is stamped uh, with a V and an H with a line. In our case, again, because we've got the waveguide assembly set for vertical, we need to make sure the V on the polarizer disc matches up with the vertical polarization. So we're going to have that oriented so that the V's line up. We'll put this back over those two pins. And then two more screws to hold the polarization plate in place. Okay, so now we've set the millimeter wave side of the antenna for vertical polarization. Next, we're going to adjust the microwave side. It's a little bit different as far as the number of screws you have to remove. Uh, first off, again, we've got a polarizer plate, so we've got two screws to remove that. And here's our polarizer plate. Again, it's stamped with an H and a V. We're going to pay attention to that when we reassemble it. And underneath here, we've got four more small screws on the inner. We're not going to remove the outer screws on the microwave side. That stays in place, just these four inner screws. Okay, now that we have those four inner screws removed, I'm going to gently pull out the entire waveguide assembly here. So now you'll notice that we've got a uh, square hole, which lines up with this uh, square hole. Again, this is stamped with an H and an a V. So we're going to set this for vertical polarization. So this is where it's important to look at your FCC license and that will tell you what polarization your microwave side has been granted, uh, either vertical or horizontal depending on your location. In our case we'll just set this for vertical. So I want to make sure that the V is lined up with this line up here. And assemble this and put it back into its spot. Again those four screws, the inner screws will go back in. You'll notice when it's vertically polarized, the slot is actually in a horizontal orientation. So this is actually vertical polarization for the uh, radio signal to come out of the antenna. Okay, and the last step is to put the polarizer plate on. So again, pay attention to the uh, labeling on here. There's an H with a line and a V with a line. We're going to line those Vs up together since we're doing uh, vertical polarization. Hold 
polarizer plate is correctly oriented and two more screws to hold it in place. Now that we've uh, set this antenna up, both of these are set for vertical polarization. The last step before you mount the radio onto the dish is to take these little pieces of protective tape off the waveguide slots. So it's important to remove these before installing the radio on here. And that's it for setting the polarization on the new WTM 4800 series multiband antenna.